Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. This video is about the conditional tense, or how to say would in French. So first of all, let's have a look at what a verb actually is. It's a doing word, such as parler, to talk, avoir, to have, partir, to leave. Basically, it's any word which makes sense when you put I or you in front. In French, there are two parts in a verb, the stem, P-A-R-L, of parler, and the ending, which is the E of parler. Now, the E-R ending is your English equivalent of the to in to talk, except in French, we stick it to the end, and that's the only difference, really, which is why when you say I talk, you have to remove the E-R, because in English you don't say I to talk, so it's the same in French. The conditional tense is where you use would in English. Now, although you still have to remember yet another set of different endings, the good news is it's very, very similar to the future tense and it's actually an exact copy of the structure of the future. You take your whole verb in the infinitive, which means with the ER, IR or RE ending, and you put your conditional endings to on that, on the end of that. Again, just like the future, you cannot ask me, how do I say I would? Because unless you provide me with what you would do, what verb you want to use, I would eat, I would go out, I would what? I can't answer that question. Before we move on, I'd like to quickly mention my ebook about verbs and tenses that's available on my website at the link below. It's got a whole, a complete explanation of the main tenses we use in speech, a table of the main irregular verbs and verb tables for you to practice your tenses. It's very, very useful and I recommend you get it. Now let's have a look at conditional endings for all regular verbs. Manger, to eat. If you remember the future was je mangerai. Well, that's also je mangerai for I would eat, except you add an S to it. I cannot tell you the amount of French people who have forgotten that. And they put an S on the end of the future as well, which makes it look conditional. To be fair to the sound, there is no difference. Just like the future, when you say je mangerai, the would bit of I would eat is actually the AIS at the end of manger. On mangerait, we would eat. The would is AIT. Vous mangeriez, you would eat. The would is IEZ. Il mangerait, they would eat. The would is AIENT. For sortir, I would go out is je sortirai. Again, it sounds exactly like the future in the je form. Descendre, je descendrai. You just got to remember the S at the end if you write it down. Je descendrai, I would go down. The irregular ones are exactly the same as in the future tense. Avoir becomes J'aurais, with an S, I would have. On aurait, we would have. Vous auriez, you would have. Ils auraient, they would have. Again, être, same as before. Je serais, I would be, with an S. On serait, we would be. Vous seriez, you would be. Il serait, they would be. Let's take aller. J'irai, with an S, I would go. On irait, we would go. Vous iriez, you would go. Ils iraient, they would go. Faire. Je ferai, I would do, with an S. On ferait, we would do. 
Vous feriez You would do. Il ferait They would do. That concludes today's video. Give me a like if you found it useful. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And you can claim your free ebook if you haven't got it already, The 12 Golden Rules of French, and just click the link in the description. A bientôt!